Imagine being able to create professional looking characters without needing any drawing skills. Whether you're making kids videos, animations, faceless YouTube videos, or digital artworks, this AI tool makes it simple, fun, and incredibly powerful. I'm going to show you how you can create AI generated characters step by step using just a description, a single image, or even multiple images for perfect consistency. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to bring your characters to life pose them and even animate them all with this single AI tool. So the AI tool we're going to use is Open Art AI. You'll find the link in the description below. This AI tool lets you create and customize unique characters with just a few clicks. So whether you have a detailed description or you only have a single image and you want to create multiple images from that, Open Art makes it easy to generate highly quality consistent characters. You don't need to be an artist, just describe what you want and Open Art AI does the rest for you. So once you are here, you can start by clicking on create a character or you can close this tab. So on this home interface, you can create your characters, you can animate your still images, you can create images, you can also edit images and so forth. So we'll come to characters and we have these three options on how we can create our characters. So the first one is a start with a description. This is where you describe your character or the details about your characters. And the second one is a start with with an image. This is where you've got a specific image of your character and you want multiple images of that character with different poses and maybe with different type of clothes and in different locations. And we've got start with four plus images. So this is where you upload the four plus images of your character. So with this one, I'll explain it a bit when we come to it because there are a number of things that you must put in mind as you start with this. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you always have to start with this the most powerful one is starting with a description if you do not have a character or an image of your character so we're going to start with the first one and i'll show you the second one so we'll click on start with a description so here we need to insert our character's name so this is the name that you'll be using every time when you want to generate more images for that particular character we'll just type in max then from there we need to describe our character so this is where you define the traits of your character that needs to stay consistent across all visuals so this includes their physical attributes their outfits their accessories if any all specific characteristics like a tall pirate with a scar or a short little boy with brown hair, something in that line. So I'll just paste in my description. So here it says create a 3D pixel style animation of a 15 year old boy named Max wearing a yellow straightforward shirt and a blue effortless band with short wavy hair. Once we are done, we scroll down to the bottom. So you can type in your own style here or you can choose from any of these styles that Open Art has provided you. So we'll select a 3D. Once that is selected, we'll click on Create Preview. And we'll give it some few minutes and wait for it to give us the preview of our visuals. It has just finished generating the images for us. So we can use any of these images that it has provided us. Or if we do not like any of them, we can still click on the regenerate preview so that it can give us another set or other options of characters we can choose from. But once you click on regenerate preview, you will not have the access to come back to these images. That's if you found to say these images are much prettier compared to the regenerated ones. I think I love this one so I'll select it then from there I will click on create character. So we give it a few minutes for the character model to be created and once it's done we can find our character here under my characters. Okay so if we want to create more images for our character what we can simply do is come to create images here and once we are here, the first thing that we'll select is the model or the character. So we'll click on the switch button, which is here. And from there, we'll go to characters. Then from there, we'll select our character. Then here, we need to select the creation mode. I'll select prompt and reference. From there, I'll scroll down. So in our prompts, we can see to say we have at max here, meaning this is our reference character. So we can delete this. And once we type in at, then we'll see max, see our character's name appearing. So we can just click on it. Then we can give it a prompt of what we want to create. For example, Max is playing the guitar. We'll scroll down and we'll come to the aspect ratio. So I'll choose the landscape. She's 16 by 9. Then on the number of images, I'll select 3. 
And once that is done, I will just click on the create button and wait to see what open art will create for us. Okay, so we can preview our images. Okay, so this is the image of Max. I love the quality of images that it has generated for us and the angles that it has used generating our images. They've got different angles and the edge size is just so consistent. And if you want to download this image, there is a download button here on top. So what we can simply do is we can add more details to our prompt. So we can say Max is holding the guitar while standing confidently with his one hand on his hip. Then we click on generate and see the result they to generate for us. Okay, so after two generations, these are the images that it has generated for us. So a good number of our images are very consistent with the exact detail of our character, like the hair, the face, except maybe some images are not as exact as the character is, but a good number of them are so consistent that we can use in our project. When we observe carefully, our character is wearing the same clothes, but that does not limit us. We can play with our prompt and make it wear different type of clothes and be found in a different background or location or together. Let's try it. We'll say Max is sitting cross-legged on the floor in a bright classroom surrounded by books and a whiteboard. And we'll see what it will generate for us. I love how the features of the face and everything about the face is just so consistent. The body size and the camera angles are quite different, which is good for varieties, but the eyes, the hairstyle, and just the mouth and the nose are just so consistent. So let's try Max is wearing something different now. So in our prompt, tool, will paste in to say he's wearing a red, straightforward shirt and a black effortless pant. Then let's click on create and see what it will generate for us. Okay, so here we go with Max wearing different type of clothes. So you just play with your prompt and describe what you want to happen to your character and you'll get the results that you desire. Okay, so the other way you can create your character is by coming to start with one image. We're going to use Elsa's image. So name it Elsa. Then here we need to upload a reference image. So upload Elsa's image. Make sure that the images that you are using are copyright free to avoid any copyright issues. So once our reference image is uploaded, we just click on create character. So our characters will be looking like our reference image. And once our character making is done, what we have to do is just click on create. And from there, just select prompt reference. And as you can see, the name of our character is also included in our prompt box. So we'll just give it a, a simple prompt to see what it will generate for us. We'll say Elsa is running. Select the number of images to be full. And from there, we'll click on create. So we can preview our character. Okay, so the eyes, the hairstyle, and the facial expression is just so consistent. Look at the outfit and everything. It's just so perfect and so consistent. You can still ask it to regenerate the images for you. And when you are describing your details in the prompt, make sure they are as descriptive as possible so that the AI knows exactly what to generate for you. Okay, let's give it a different prompt like Elsa is uh, singing. This is just so stunning. So this is how easy it is to train this AI to, to be creating consistent characters for you. You can build your own characters and build a brand out of that. This AI tool is very useful when you want to build a brand for your YouTube channel whether it's a kid's channel or just a faceless YouTube channel and you want the same characters to be used in every video that you want to be uploading, this is a perfect tool that you can use to build that brand, to build that same character with different clothes, different camera angles and different poses altogether. A number of things that we can do using this AA tool to make our character look the way we want it to look and to make our character be in a pose that we want it to be. Now, when it comes to starting with four plus images, the process is just the same like the one we've done when we were starting with one image and with a description. Except when you're starting with four plus images, make sure that the first image that you upload showcases your character's key features and make sure that you upload a number of images that have got different poses and different kind of clothes so that as the AI tool will be generating your images, it has a variety of clothes and colors to choose from so that's one thing you should keep in mind now if you would love to turn these images into a 3d video open art has got clean 1.6 embedded in it so what you want to do is just come to videos here and here on the model you will see that clean is selected we'll leave it just like that then we're going to upload our image that we want to turn into a video just drag your image here then from there we're going to describe what we want just to get that better output so our character is singing so say elsa is singing 
Then here at the bottom, we need to choose the duration for our video. Is it five seconds, 10 seconds? So I'll leave it to five seconds and I'll leave the quality to standard, but you can still choose pro to get that high quality and high resolution for your video. So just click on create. Okay, that's how beautiful and very cool it is to create these 3D animated videos using only AI tools. Now you know how to create stunning AI characters using open art AI. I would love to hear from you which feature you're most excited about. Let me know in the comment section below and make sure you like, comment and subscribe. From there, check out this next video on how you can create stunning 3D animated videos using only AI tools. God bless you. Love you all.